and welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen, where today we're going to be making pumpkin seed rolls. We're going to start out with a mixer bowl, and I have a half cup of rye flour already in here. I have uh, two teaspoons of the quick rise instant yeast. So we're going to add that in there, and I have one tablespoon of honey. And this is going to make the starter for the rolls. We're going to mix this, we're going to whisk this together along with some water. So I also have a half cup of warm water, about 110 degrees. And we're just going to put this in here. We're going to whisk it together and then we're going to cover it with some plastic wrap once it's pretty well incorporated. We're going to let this rise for, uh, we're going to let this sit for about an hour. And when the hour's up, it'll be all nice and frothy. And then we will add the rest of our ingredients for our pumpkin seed roll. Meanwhile, while this is rising, we're going to move over to the stove briefly. And we're going to heat up our pepitas or pumpkin seeds along with some, um, some sesame seeds. So here we go. And we're going to move on over to the stove, and I'll see you there in a moment. Okay, so I've got a dry pan warming up here on the, on the stove. And we're going to take our pepitas, or pumpkin seeds, depending on what you want to call them. And we're also going to take, uh, so that's a cup. I'm sorry, that's one cup. There'll be words and things on there. So one cup of pepitas, and then also a half a cup of sesame seeds. And we're going to uh, hover over the stove. So we're going to heat these up to kind of get the oils out of the uh, out of the seeds. And it's going to take a while. It's going to take about eight minutes or so. So we'll show you the progress as it comes along. Okay, this is looking nice. Our sesame seeds are getting well toasted. Our pepitas are popping a little bit, and they will tend to pop a little bit. And what we're going to do here is. We're going to take a quarter cup of the mixture and put that to the side. Just like so. And then the rest we're going to put into a food processor and grind it up. Okay, so the, uh, <laughs> the seeds are now in the food processor and we're going to blend these for about uh, three or four minutes. Uh, until it's a fine, fine grind. Actually, about a minute. And you can smell the toastiness. I also have four tablespoons of butter, uh, salted butter. And we're going to add those into our ground up seed mixture. And here we have our pepita, sesame seed, and butter mixture. So we're going to wait, finish with this rise, and then we'll get all, everything kind of all combined, and that's going to rise again. So I'll see you in a little while. Okay, so our in initial sponge is done. It's been an hour. We're just going to reserve this plastic wrap for when we get the rest of them mixed together. To the sponge, we're going to add our seed mixture that we made earlier. And we're going to also add two and a half cups of bread flour. And then we're going to go ahead and put this on the mixer. And I also have one cup of room temperature water. So we're going to go ahead and mix this on low just for about until just combined really. So we're just going to get this mixed up and just combined and then we're going to let it rest for about five minutes. Okay so it's been five minutes and uh, it's been resting for five minutes and now we're going to take one and a quarter teaspoon of uh, kosher salt 
and we're gonna add this into the bowl and then we're gonna mix this on low until it all pulls away and forms a sticky, sticky-ish dough. And this will take a few minutes, probably five, eight minutes, something like that. All right, so our dough has formed a nice, our dough has formed a nice ball and it's still sticking on the, uh, on the dough hook, which is fine. That's kind of perfectly how we want it. It's a little bit sticky, uh, but it'll get less sticky uh, when it starts to form uh, and rise for the second time. So basically, we're just going to take our original plastic wrap and we're going to cover the bowl and we're going to let this rise for another hour. All right, so our dough has risen for the second time and I've, I made it into a, a, a 10 inch by 6 inch square or approximately uh, that amount. And then what we're going to do is we're going to divide this into 15 individual pieces. And we may have to fuddle with it a little bit. Basically, you want each of the 15 pieces to measure out about two ounces or so. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to cut it into thirds lengthwise, approximate, just like this. And we'll see that some are going to be larger than the others. And then just cut enough to come up with 15. So three, six, nine, and then 15. Now some are going to look like this corner looks a lot larger than this other little piece here. So obviously what we can do is just take a little bit from one and add to the other and kind of put it underneath. And then what you do with each one of these is just kind of turn these in forming like a little purse or a little pocket and then just kind of smooth them out pinch the bottom and lay it down onto a parchment paper uh, parchment lined baking sheet so again just and if they vary in, in size a little bit it's not really going to matter once they uh, once they bake up. And there we have our 15 rolls. Now I have one egg that I beat with a little uh, uh, little egg beater. And so we're just going to brush each one of these uh, rather liberally with the egg wash. And now we have our reserve seed mixture. We we grab that quarter cup of the seed mixture when we roasted the seeds on the pan and we're just going to sprinkle the, these on top. They may need a little extra push with your fingers just to make sure that it's on there and there's, there's plenty here so if you worry that you're going to run out I don't think you will. And we're just going to add just a little bit, just a little dash of sea salt on top of each one. At this point you're going to want to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. We're going to cover these with our plastic wrap again. We're going to let these sit for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, our oven's going to heat up 450 degrees. After the 30 minutes, we'll pop these into the oven and we're going to bake them for 20 minutes. And then we're going to have wonderful pumpkin seed rolls uh, just in time for our Halloween. So. Uh, an October special, a boolicious recipe from Crazy Dave's Kitchen. We'll see you when these are done. Okay, so our pumpkin seed rolls are out of the oven. Uh, they are uh, golden brown, as you can see. Uh, very tasty. I have a little butter on here. Uh, great by themselves. Great with some soup. Um, it's a really nice recipe. Great fall recipe. Time consuming, about three and a half hours total with about one hour of total real work. Uh, but other than that, you're just waiting for the deliciousness. Uh, the aroma from the seeds is just fantastic. It's a very good fall uh, bread to make if you're so inclined. Uh, you can get the full recipe 
uh, by clicking below uh, right by the subscribe button you can also subscribe and when you go to get the full recipe you'll be going to my new website which is crazydaveskitchen.com uh, and there you can find all my recipes even if you're not a subscriber uh, to my YouTube page you can subscribe to the uh, to the blog page on my website or you can just view the uh, view the website at any given time uh, I'm doing some work uh, it's gonna take a while to get all my old recipes on there but any new recipe is gonna be on there so thanks again for tuning in to crazy Dave's kitchen and we'll see you next time